Saturday afternoons were special when I was a child. Not for any religious reasons as such, but that's when Doctor Who was on. So you'd find me and uh, you know, sometimes the rest of the family glued to the latest episode of Doctor Who. And that gave me a fascination for colony planets. I just loved the stories that were set there. So it's probably no great surprise that my online comic, dadtown.net, has that setting itself. And that's part of what interested me in The Seventh Sword, uh, which is where I found my character Mary um, in the setting, once again, of a colony planet. And I was interested in Mary because she's kind of risking her life in uh, a very, you know, driving across the outback, in essence, on a dangerous planet. And I'm wondering why she's doing that. And providing people with fuel didn't seem to be a big enough answer, so I looked at other possibilities and thinking, what if there was some sort of purpose to what she was doing, a sort of higher purpose for her? And that led me to thinking, well, maybe she's looking to help people out, to reach out to them. And out of that, and the fact that at the time I was writing the story, preparations were underway for the Pride Festival in the city I live. That's when this kind of LGBT element to the story became more apparent. Um, really, really pleased with the way it went. Very happy with Danny's art and the development process that we went through uh, with our editor. It was a really, really great experience. I hope you enjoy the story. Thank you. The Women of Darby Pop number one, a double size floppy at a single issue price. In stores on September 28th. Pre-order your copy today.